Batman Year One was a film focused on the first year in the Dark Knight's crime-fighting career. But that story didn't necessarily end there. Unbeknownst to me, until very recently, a DC short was made that follows those events. As the cast and characters they were portraying returned to their roles for this near 15-minute flick. It's a beautiful suit, isn't it? This time around, it isn't the Cape Crusader that we're following, but instead his feline friend. Or, I guess in this case, foe. This DC showcase showcases Catwoman as she takes on the city's newest crime boss. The short does introduce us to new characters, who are not only not in the movie that this is attached to, but just never in Batman lore to begin with, as this showcase's main antagonist is a diamond-grilled-having gangster named Rufka. He's a diamond smuggler with diamond teeth who pays strippers and chunks of diamonds. He's, he is gold member, but with diamonds. It's a bit much. Even Mr. Freeze would say that this is an excessive use of ice. Chill. Catwoman tracks Rough Cut down to a strip club where she takes the spot of one of the dancers. And it genuinely feels like this was the major factor that inspired this short. It didn't need to be made, but this scene specifically is why it was made. I'm not complaining either, I'm, I'm just saying. I feel like someone was very passionate about this routine. Though this striptease doesn't end with the climax you might be thinking. <laughs> Following a beatdown comes a chase, that is then followed by a layered final battle. While the movie this was attached to puts a very heavy emphasis on narrative, this presentation is very sequence-oriented. The animation of the action is always impressive, but it's surprising seeing this in something attached to a story that didn't have a whole lot of wow factor. The two seem tonally different, and outside of the returning cast and animation, don't seem to be one and the same. In trying to track down the smugglers, she manages to save a truck full of trafficked girls, one of which being her buddy Holly Robinson, who she had been watching over in the previous film. I think this short does a better job of establishing and explaining the Catwoman character than the actual movie did. Because there, she barely plays a role. I don't think the movie was really trying to properly depict her, they were just trying to use her as a plot point. I mean, in the story, she's just sort of stumbled upon. She's there long enough to make an impression, but not enough for audiences to get the full picture of who she is or what she does. To credit this, this clarifies that. I think in some ways, this short plays out like a deleted scene from the movie. Or better yet, this short is what would happen if movies started having DLC. It's definitely a continuation of that movie, but I, I don't feel like anything is really being furthered. They're conveying the character much better here than there, but there's nothing new going on. There's no added developments that play an integral part or change anything from that movie. This is just its own thing that didn't need to happen that just so happens to be attached to that movie. I get that this takes place in the same universe as that first Batman movie, but it doesn't really continue where that story left off. This isn't picking up a dropped plot thread. This is a story that just so happens to take place in the same place that that last one did. At the end of the day, is this short really necessary? Well, no. No, absolutely not. Not at all. It was fine to just leave things the way they were. But this short does give us a little bit more insight to some of the characters, as well as show the audience what Catwoman is capable of. I think she was tragically underutilized in year one, so having a short solo story showing her off does at least attempt to right that wrong a little bit. And I'm never going to complain about more Elijah Dushku as Catwoman. She's kind of the perfect fit. Emphasis on perk. I would love to come back and do this again. I absolutely have a, a personal interest in... in liking and, and feel for Catwoman. It felt like something I would love to see go on and on and on, because she's got a lot to do. Add to that the vocal talents of incredible voice actors and criminally underrated jokers in Kevin Michael Richardson and John DiMaggio, and I think you really almost have something here. Is it must-see? Not exactly, but I think it's at least worth one watch. It survives on its own, and actually I think it may be better to view it that way rather than a sequel to Batman's first year. The two are too different to be the same. Anyway, with that being said, if you like this video and want to see more videos about DC showcases and shorts, let me know in the comment section below by leaving a comment saying, Mom, I can't be Catwoman. Sherry Hickey's gonna be Catwoman. I am vengeance. I am the knight. And that was V-Infuso. Just remember, 
If you're not tuning in, then you're missing out. So, if you like the words that came out of his mouth hole, and you too would like to become a V-generate, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, nerds! And if you're not joining the fun, you're in for one bad day. And you know what they say about having one bad day. <laughs> Catch him next time. Same bad time. Same bad channel.